They are kind of made up with these different, uh, kind of like a make do, whatever people have. They put up a shelter. My name is Manny Trin. I'm a painter um, and make sculpture as well, a little bit of everything. Uh, I live and work in Toronto. I improvise. So if you look at these images, there's a lot of improvisation. They just use whatever they have. So, you know, sort of like what I, my process. It's like a, sort of like a beautiful struggle, you know. The colors are beautiful, but it's kind of ugly. It's kind of, uh, has this melancholy vibe to them. Uh, they are little hints of human, uh, um, everyday human uh, stuff in them. Uh, you know, you see the tarp, sometimes you see like a clothing hanging. Um, I kind of left the people out of them. I want the structures to convey uh, what I'm trying to say. I spent a lot of time thinking about it, an idea or conceptually, conce conceptualizing a piece, doodling here and there, and sometimes it, it just, this idea just sparks up from, from that sketch. For the sculptures, this is something I've been working on uh, last, maybe like almost a year or two years. It's made out of balsa wood and it's like a soft modeling, uh, ar like architectural uh, wood. I had this idea, just want to make, bring the 2D imagery uh, of the shanty house I've been painting to a 3D to see, you know, this like flat image come alive in, in a very tangible way. The Dead Birds, I started a series uh, about three, four years ago. Um, I remember thinking I've been painting these structures for a while now and you know a lot of them are kind of very angular and straight lines and I want to work, paint something that's kind of kind of like a, has more like a tones to them and a little bit more um, you know more like more and more painterly. I wanted to paint, <laughs> you know, like the, uh, the birds kind of alive, but they are deteriorate. So it still has a common thread uh, throughout what I've been doing, that decay, that destruction, uh, that chaotic, um, the chaotic, vibe of the of the imagery instead of having really really detailed tight tight brush strokes i wanted to have more movement like more lively and uh, a little bit more to push and pull like on the big pieces i think having challenges like putting yourself through challenges is good as an artist now you learn a set of new bag of tricks for your craft. I put, I spent a lot of time uh, when I was a kid skateboarding. When you're skating, you're trying to try something that you sit there and you battle with it for hours and hours and hours. When you finally pull it off, um, it's just this great feeling. Just kind of work it, work it out, work it out yourself, you know? I mean, it's also, you know, everyone needs help. But what I mean, like mentally, like you, that drive, that desire to do certain things, you know, there's no magic pill. You gotta put your time into it, you work into it, uh, into your craft. And I strongly believe that that's what really helps for anybody doing anything. It's just like, you gotta put time into your craft. Yeah, there's no other way around it. <laughs>